Okay, so looking down the line, so we can again look how good that pot has got, as I said before at the start of the lesson there, from the stuff we did last week. Brilliant, okay? Really, really good angles now with your spine. Nice amount of flow. Nice amount of knee flex there at address, arms hanging down. That ticks a lot of boxes for me. At least now you're in a position where we can move the body better. Yep. Before, when you were really squatty in the knees, you couldn't turn. The yep. only way that club could really go back was, as you sort of took the club here now, the sort of legs, so you said the legs kind of straightening there, the hips kind of slide up there. So if we look at, look at the hip movement specifically there, as you're kind of moving and rotating, the right hip kind of goes up. There's a bit of sort of lifting yeah. with everything. And then at the top of the backswing, we can see you know, that, those hands. They're not as high as they were, but the elbow, as we said, slightly higher than that right shoulder. Left arm is a little bit up here. And everything's sort of just tilted a little bit towards target. So this hip has kind of moved back towards us. What we want to try and do, okay, is get that hip to work around the corner. Now we can pair this backswing here as you go back there. The right hip moving around the corner, that club working back nicely. Look at that backswing position there. That yeah. thinking about your arms, the movement of that hip now has created a flatter left arm and a better right arm position. Now we compare these two coming back down. Okay, if I just get them to the top sink, so that's top of the back swing. There's top of the back swing there. If we put them down like that, you look at the movement. Just watch the club as it comes back down through your head. So look at that position there. <laughs> One's very steep yeah, through your yeah, right yeah, neck. Yeah, that's yeah. now through your right shoulder. Okay. As we start coming back down, your hands now in front of your chest. The hands are kind of moved in front yep, of the club, yep. going towards that kind of outside position over here kind of thing. As we come in the golf ball here now, your hands have moved out this way. Look where your hands are now in relation to your body there, coming down the chest line nicely. As we come into impact, that club now nicely on the inside of the ball, whereas this one here now kind of going through the ball, so it's a little bit outside the line. As we come into impact there now, Look at your elbows, you come through, not a lot more down, yep. a lot higher. Yep. Yep. So the swing being very sort of up and down. And I said before, your swing previously was very kind of yeah, like up yeah. and down yeah. this way. We want to try and get it a bit more kind of yep. that way. Because yep. at least that way, I think I said to you last time I had a lesson with a guy, he hit a fat shot and I hit a fat shot. And he was like, how come your fat shots are better? I said, because I'm in the ground like this and you're in the ground like yeah, that. Yeah. It's just, yeah. If you yeah. come into, into butter with a knife that way, it's going to dig. Yeah. If you come yeah. with a spoon, yeah. it'll just sort of glide yeah. across the top. And that's kind of what we're trying to get a little bit more of. So through the golf ball there now, okay, yeah, good movement again, hands nice and high there, it gets fine. But again, overall, that takeaway for me and that hip movement is just generally flattening out your swing and getting that club working on a much better angle. So we're swinging the club more kind of that way as opposed to that way and steep. So your path used to come a little bit across the ball. Yep. And because and your path was yeah, going yeah. across, caused by the steepness, you would just hold the face open. Correct, so yeah. when you're in the impact bag, when you came back into impact down here into that impact bag, your club face was pointing over there somewhere. Yeah. Like really yeah. opened up. Yeah. It's like, well, hang on a second. It's worth, I mean, keep bashing that until I get some replacements. It's fine, I'll get some more. Um, hit that bag, and you want to get that bag squared up, or that club squared up the bag. If the club's facing, I guess, almost 45 degrees, yeah. Yeah, while the shoulders and chest are coming back, that club face dictates where that ball's going to start. Yeah. So unless your path is somewhere kind of from in here, and you hit a big old hook, you this way is just going to be right going yeah, right and just yeah, a big old yeah, slice so spin on it and oh, it's, gotcha. yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah so so getting that right hip I, I would practice that movement up against the wall there so you sort of stand up against the wall with your right side and just try and feel your right hip kind of moving almost away around the corner so if i'm using this wall yeah, this stuff, just, just from there yeah, now just yeah, almost yeah, just, just yeah, feel yeah, yeah. i guess a little bit straightening with your right leg slightly okay and i think that will take a little bit of practice to some extent just to get that feeling as we said before just so you can get there on the golf course and you're not there going, okay, what's my hip going to do? You just think, okay, I'm here now. As a trigger before that club goes back, you might sort of just go and just sort of just rotate your pelvis a little bit, but just get used to this hip moving. And when you do that, your shoulders are now going to swing a lot flatter. Yeah. It'd be so unnatural to do this and then lift your arms up. It just wouldn't look, it'd look really strange, wouldn't it? But if your hips go this way, your arms have got to go up. They can't kind of come around here. So the hip movement will often dictate where your arms are going to go, yeah? And that better rotation with the hips flattens off that club. It changes that angle. And we start saying, what we want to try and see from that last one, perfect example, okay? Good launch angle there. A bit of spin to the left, just about to the L there. So 621 to the left. And it's the push-pull on there. They've been taken off. Some of them have been taken off there. But that's oh yeah, offline there. It's just the pathway. It started probably about two or three degrees right at target, whereas before your ball would start somewhere here and then curve over there and be quite heavy on the mat. Yeah? If we can... We can't guarantee that we're going to miss the ground every single shot at the right point. So if we're coming in a lot flatter, at least your bad shot will be 
10, 20 yards short of the green rather than 10, 20 yards in front of you yeah. with a 7 or 8 yeah. or not, whatever yeah. club you're taking. So that right hip turning out of the way just changes the angle that club's going to work on. And yeah, we can bring that club back to the ball now a lot better in line, yeah? Make sense? Good man. Excellent, good stuff, mate. Right.